Now, before all that, it is the elusive and legendary creature that's one of the world's greatest mysteries, begging the question, does the infamous Loch Ness Monster really exist? The majority of sceptics would say, not in your Nessie, hmm. but one man who has dedicated his life in search of her is Steve Feltham. And we're going to cross live now by satellite to find out how the hunt is going, because, Steve, you have been there for quite a long time looking for Nessie. How long? I've been here for exactly 25 years and 12 days. <laughs> like the 12 Full days. Time. And what have you come up with so far, Steve? Oh, it's a slow job. I've had one possible sighting of something in the first year, and that gave me the impression that it wouldn't take long to solve the mystery, really. And I'm still waiting for the second sighting, to be honest. And do you totally believe there is a Loch Ness Monster, or what do you think it is? I believe there's something to be explained. There definitely is, because I've spoken to hundreds and hundreds of people that have seen something in here that is bigger than the resident fish. That's all we can say for sure. What it is, is still anybody's guess. It's still the world's greatest mystery as to what the answer's going to turn out to be. But something big has been swimming about in here for a long time. What would your guess be? My best guess... I'd say the most likely thing at the moment is a thing called Wells catfish, but it doesn't really mean that that is the answer. It just means that ticks more boxes than dinosaurs or spaceships, which are other front runners for the explanation. Steve, so, we can see people wandering. I'll photograph what it... We can see people wandering about there already. Yeah. Is that tourists already arriving to, to have a look at. Oh, there they are. Good morning. We're going for a swim. Um, are people constantly it's there little, looking? Yeah, they do a lot of swimming. <laughs> they, no, it's uh, obviously this, this is the height of our summer, so um, there's a few people about now, but a lot of the year it's very, very, very quiet here. There's still me here with a pair of binoculars watching, but not yeah. so many tourists. Well, well give, me, give us an insight into your day as a monster hunter, uh, what it involves and uh, like, what will your routine today be? Uh, basically, if it's a nice day, I get outside of my van, at my table here, start making a few of the little ne Nessie figurines that sustain this lifestyle that I've chosen, and wait and see what happens, really. And the beauty of this life is that I consider this beach to be the equivalent to the Champs-Élysées of the North, that everybody and anything will turn up here at some point, and it does. And so I just sit and wait and see what next adventure comes along, and later on this afternoon, I might end up out in a boat out there, or I might... Who knows what? Who knows? Mm. And that's I'm... the beauty of it, the unpredictability of this adventure. And, and, you know, making a living must be quite unpredictable as well. If I've picked you up correctly there, um, you, have, you have little souvenirs that you can perhaps sell. Do people come and seek advice yeah. to you? You're a bit of a tour guide, or how do you do that? We're going we're to show the, the vehicle that you actually live in. And this, uh, this is a converted what? What did this used to be? used to be a mobile library in Dorchester, in Dorset, where I'm from, and uh, it's fully converted, it's lovely, it's, uh, it's got, even got a piano in it. And, yeah, the, the, see, the, the important thing about what I do is that it doesn't matter if anybody else in the rest of the world understands why I choose to do this. Yeah. I do this because it's what makes my heart sing, trying to solve this mystery. And I have in my life freedom and extreme happiness. So that's all that matters to me, doing the things I want to do. And that's yeah. all I say to anybody. Don't come and find the Loch Ness Monster. Go and find your own adventure. Go and find, make a life. Have an adventure. That's a lovely that's sentiment. Lovely, yeah. Do you ever get lonely, Steve, in the winter? You know, summertime now, lots of people about. I, I wish I had more time to get lonely. It's, it's, it's an extremely busy life and existence here you know that's the pub's there oh, how perfect. lonely do i need to get if i get lonely I... Um, how confident do you feel that at some point you will uncover the mystery that is the loch ness monster well the only skill i need is patience and a pair of binoculars and okay i've given it 25 years and, 12 and days. 
although I don't come up with results myself of pieces of evidence, I push other people's pieces of evidence into the public domain. So as long as I keep doing that, I'm, I'm content. And it's not a case of trying to convince the outside world. It's trying to convince myself. That's what I'm here to do. If anybody else finds out there's a monster in here, that's a bonus. Well, and would you like somebody in your life to share that hunt with? Don't worry, Eamon. I've got a, I've got a long-term... You know, um, I've got a long-term partner. Myself and Hillary have been together for a long time. Thank you very much and, for asking. And, Don't and, worry about me. And I'm does Hillary, Hillary happy. think the same as you? I do struggle to convince her. She's, I would say, agnostic, <laughs> which uh, does... I do bang my... I do bang my head off my table at the thought that if I can't convince her, what yeah. chance do I have with people like yourselves? Well, listen, we're, we're very pleased it makes you so happy, Steve, and we hope that, uh, that you do find something. We'd be fascinated. That's all um, you do. Good to talk to you. Enjoy your day yeah. up there in Loch Ness. Absolute cheers. pleasure. Cheers, cheers. But isn't it lovely to see a man so content and happy? Seems very stress-free. Because he's got full support from his partner behind him in it. <laughs> Lovely Hillary. It's like, no, you know, you somebody just said goes she out doesn't believe it. Yes, but she, it's like somebody goes out and plays golf with you or, yeah. you know, shares I'm your hobby. I'm happy for you to go out and play golf for hours. Just don't expect me to come. That's all. Uh, do you think it exists or not? I think there's something. I'm not sure it's the monster that people think, but I think far too many people have mm. seen something that's very big. I think there's probably, it's probably just a massive fish or something. If it was there, they'd have spotted it by now.